Hello students, in present video, I am going to explain about 8th problem from depreciation topic. I am taking this question from Pankaj Publications book. See the question first. Mr. Arun purchased a machine on 1st January 2004 for 2 lakh rupees, paid customs duty and freight 50,000 and incurred erection charges 50,000. He purchased another machine on 1st July 2004 for 1 lakh rupees. On 1st July 2006, he sold one third of the first machine for 45,000 rupees and purchased another machine for 65,000 rupees. Depreciation is provided by him at the rate of 25% per annum on straight line method. Assuming that the books are closed every year on 31st December, prepare missionary account for the years 2004 to 2007. This is the question. See the solution for this. Missionary account. Debit side, credit side. Date particular same on, date particular same on. First, what happened? Mr. Arun purchased a mission on 1st January 2004 for 2 lakh rupees, paid custom duty and freight 50,000 and incurred erection charges 50,000. So, purchases on debit side we have to show. Date is 1st January 2004. To bank account, they purchased this asset for 2 lakh rupees. They spent expenditure also now. For that also write down to bank account, date is same. 50,000 plus 50,000 total expenditure is 1 lakh rupees. So, first asset total cost is 2 lakh plus 1 lakh, 3 lakh rupees. Continuation. He purchased another machine on 1st July 2004 for 1 lakh rupees. So, 1st July 2004 also comes in this year only now. On that day, again they bought a new asset. So, two bank account 1 lakh rupees. Now, every year, they are closing their accounts on 31st December. Therefore, year end date is 31st December. This is 2004 now. So, 2004. On that day, they use these two assets. So, depreciation will be there. Credit side, you have to show the depreciation. By depreciation account. First asset cost is 3 lakh rupees. On that, at the rate of 25%, for full year, we have to provide depreciation. Because first asset is purchased on 1st January now. 1st January to 31st December. Full year they used. So, months are not required. 75,000 is the total depreciation on first asset. Second asset, cost is 1 lakh rupees. They purchased it on 1st July. So, from 1st July to 31st December. 6 months they used. Therefore, at the rate of 25%, for 6 months only we have to provide depreciation. So, into 6 by 12, 12,500. Total depreciation amounts in outer column, 87,500. Finally, balance carried down. Debit total, 4 lakh rupees minus credit amount, 87,500 is equal, 3 lakh 12,500. For that, last date of the year, 31st December 4, by balance carried down. Two side highest total, debit total, 4 lakh, 4 lakh. Now, come to second year. Debit side, next date to this date we should write. 1st January 2005. We are bringing this balance carried down amendment here now. So, write down to balance brought down. 3,12,500 here. And in 2005 year, there is no extra purchase. There is no sale. So, at the end of 2005 year, that is on 31st December 2005, we have to provide depreciation on these two assets. This is fixed installment method. So, every year we have to calculate depreciation on original cost only. First asset original cost is 3 lakh rupees. On that at the rate of 25%. Full year we have now. Therefore, months are not required. Same amount comes 75,000. Second asset, 1 lakh worth asset also. In second year, 2005 year, we used it for full year now. From 1st January to 31st December we have. Therefore, here also months are not required. On 1 lakh, 25% is 25,000. So, total in outer column, 1 lakh. Then finally, balance carried down. Debit total, 3 lakh 12,500 minus credit amount, 1 lakh is equal to 2 lakh 12,500. For this, balance carried down. Date is last date of the year, 31st December 5. Come to next year. Date is 1st January 2006. Next date to this date. 
bring this balance on debit side. 2 balance brought down this value 212,500. In 2006 year what happened? See the question. On 1st July 2006, he sold one third of the first machine for 45,000. First machine is 2 lakh plus 1 lakh, 3 lakh no? In 3 lakh worth of machine, one third is sold for 45,000 and purchased another machine for 65,000. So in 2006 year, two things were happened. In first asset, one third is sold, another asset is purchased. First sales information will show. On 1st July 2006, they sold one third of this first asset. So purchases debit side we wrote, sales credit side we should write, by bank account. They sold this asset for 45,000, write down that amount. And up to that date, we use this asset. When we use value decreases, no? depreciation will be there. No? The depreciation we have to calculate. So on 1st July 2006, by depreciation on which asset in first asset one third asset that asset depreciation we have to calculate see first asset total cost is three lakh rupees in this one third asset only we sold so one third of this first asset only we have from first january to first july therefore one third of first asset we want so total cost is three lakh into 1 by 3 then one third value comes nothing but 1 lakh rupees on this 1 lakh worth they said 25 percent depreciation for six months we should calculate why six months because this one third asset from first january to first july first date means july you need not to count up to 30 june only we should count now so from first january to 30 june six months therefore six by 12 is equal 12,500 depreciation in outer column. So this is the depreciation on this one third asset in 2006 year. And in this sale, we may get profit or loss. That calculation in working notes we have to show. Heading profit or loss in sale of machinery cost. So total asset value 3 lakh. In that we sold one third. Therefore, one third asset cost only we should show. 3 lakh into 1 by 3, 1 lakh rupees minus total depreciation of this one third asset. First year, 2004. In 2004, total 3 lakh worth asset depreciation is 75,000. We want a 1 lakh worth asset because 1 lakh worth asset only we sold. So, if total depreciation is 75,000, one third depreciation is how much? into 1 by 3 is equal 25,000. Similarly, second year 2005. On 3 lakh worth asset, total asset depreciation is available here 75,000. We want one third asset depreciation only. How it comes? Same calculation 75,000 into 1 by 3 25,000. And 2006 year, we need not to calculate one third asset depreciation separately. In account already we have calculated now. So on one third asset for six months at the rate of 25% depreciation is 12,500. Directly take that amount. Three amounts total in outer column 62,500. So cost of the asset minus total depreciation is equal 37,500. This is book value. Book value means the value of the asset at the time of sale. So 37,500 worth asset is a sold for how much given in the question for 45,000 they sold they sold for more means there is a profit therefore profit in sale is equal sale value 45,000 minus book value 37,500 is equal 7,500 if loss comes credit side we should show profit debit side now profit came now so debit side day when we sell the asset on that day only profit comes Therefore, sale date we should write 1st July 2006. For profit, you have to write to profit and loss account 7500. So, sold asset information is completed. Now, come to purchase asset information. On the same day, 1st July 2006, they purchased another asset for 65,000. 
So debit side show that the value to bank account. Now come to 2006 year last date. On this date, which assets we have? First asset is then a 3 lakh worth asset. In this 3 lakh worth asset, one third is sold. So two third is with us only, you know. So two third asset we have. Next, second asset, one lakh worth asset. It is not at sold. So this second asset, one lakh worth asset we have. And the third asset, 65,000 worth asset is purchased in 2006. That asset also we have. So three assets we have. Separately, we have to calculate depreciation on each asset in inner column. On 31st December 2006, year end, by depreciation account, first asset. First asset cost is 3 lakh. In that, two third worth asset depreciation only I want. Therefore, into 2 by 3. 3 lakh into 2 by 3 is equal to 2 lakh rupees. On this 2 lakh asset, at the rate of 25%, depreciation for full year is 50,000. Next, second asset. Second asset also full year we used. Second asset full year depreciation is already available here. In 2005 year, second asset, 1 lakh worth asset, total depreciation for full year is 25,000 now. So again, need not to calculate directly this 25,000 we will take. Then third asset, 65,000. 65,000 into 25% into when this asset is purchased, 1st July. From 1st July to 31st December, 6 months we used. Therefore, 6 by 12, 8,125. 3 assets total depreciation in outer column, 83,125. Then finally, on the same day, balance carried down. Debit total, 285,000 minus credit amounts. 45,000, 12,500, 83,125 is equal 1,44,375. And in question, he is asking us to show the asset account up to 31st December 2007. Therefore, for next year also, we have to continue this asset account. So this credit amount, balance carried down, bring on debit side, to balance brought down. Date is? Next date of this date, 31st December 2006, next date is 1st January 2007. Two balance brought down this value, 1,44,375 debit side. And 2007 year last date, 31st December 2007. On that day, depreciation we have to calculate now by depreciation account. In 2007 year, there is no extra purchase, there is no extra sale. So first asset, first asset total cost 3 lakh in that one third is already sold in 2006. Therefore, on 31st December 2006, two third only we have. So that a two third asset depreciation we have calculated in 2006 year now 50,000. Same amount 50,000. Next is second asset, one lakh worth asset. This asset depreciation is also in previous years only we have calculated 25,000 that amount and the third asset 65,000 worth asset. It is purchased in 2006. So in 2007 year from 1st January to 31st December we have this asset full year we used. Therefore for full year again we have to calculate the depreciation 65,000 into 25% 16,250. Total in outer column 91,250. Now finally balance carried down. Debit total 1,44,375 minus credit amount 91,250 is equal 53,125. For this write down the last date of the year by balance carried down. Two set highest total debit total 1,44,375. Now up to 2007 he asked. In 2007 there is a balance no. Means asset account is not at closed. Therefore, for next date, bring the balance and stop the problem. So next date of this date is 1st January 2008. On that day, two balance brought down 53,125. And in test book, in Pankaj Publications book, answer is given as 1,3125. But here 53,125 came to us. So same answer not came. But procedure is correct. Okay. 
I think this is printing mistake. So this is the end of present problem. Take a screenshot of this first page. Continuation. Hope this video is helpful to you. Thank you.